Hey everybody, welcome to Brewer Tech. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Udemy's review system, some stories that I have from the Udemy review system over the years, and I'm going to be talking about some of the things instructors used to do but cannot do anymore. All right, welcome back. For this video, make sure you like, subscribe. More like subscribers you get, the more content we can make. Another reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get the money-making trends before they go mainstream. All right, so let's take a look at the review system of what they currently uh, have. And I'm gonna be talking about a few stories that I had over the time. And maybe I'll even make a whole other video about this. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, there's a bunch of rules when asking for reviews because the review system over the years and the rules around it were, well, basically, you know, they, they've they changed a, a lot. And again, having a big review system is really good, like a very solid review system. Now, I'm going to be making a whole other video about transparency and uh, Web 3.0 and decentralized kind of trust. Uh, which Udemy is, is not really positioned for, but, you know, they could always change that, okay? So let's take a look at, uh, there's there's a bunch of rules here. So instructors cannot indicate what type of rating review they should students leave. So you can't say, um, you know, please leave a five-star review. You used to be able to do that, right? There was actually an instructor that, uh, that basically did that. Um, and he, he, that particular instructor left uh, was left unchecked here. And oh, by the way, as a disclaimer, uh, all the top instructors on, on Udemy, I have absolutely respect for. And so I'm not saying this person, um, you know, was a bad instructor, right? That's not the, the case is. The point is, is that the behavior, some behavior was allowed and allowed for certain instructors, but not others, at least in the early days of Udemy. Um, you know, there's a bunch of things here, but uh, how not to ask reviews? It's like, these are probably the best examples. Uh, you know, if you like the course, give me a five-star review. If you did not like the course, please send me a direct message instead of leaving a review, right? This is actually, uh, this is what people used to do. Uh, I worked really hard in this course. I hope you found it valuable uh, and leave a positive review about your experience. I mean, this one's kind of gray. I mean, I don't really see what the problem with that is. Um, other than I guess you're trying to lead it to a positive review. But if, if you just say, if you leave out the word positive, I don't really see anything wrong with that sentence. Um, you know, this is pretty common. And then, you know, so if you leave a five-star review, I'll give you my next free course. Now, this last one here, um, what used to happen on Udemy is um, there was a particular instructor that sold an ex uh, a service uh, and the service, in order to get this service, what would happen is, is that you'd have the course and there'd be like an introduction video. And then the next video would be like, hey, if you want all these extra kind of like services, the software, um, then you can just leave a five-star review or leave a review and then we'll, we'll get you into that service. Now, of course, of course people are going to want that because it was actually a really good uh, service. But Eventually, they said you couldn't do that. But in the first days of Udemy, this is something you can do. And if you did the same thing, like if I did like literally copy the video word for word, I was not allowed to do that, right? So like immediately there was like some instructors were uh, were in a different class than others. And that, that really irked a lot of people. And it irked me for many years too. You can't, you can no longer do that. But in the early days of Udemy, you could, they, there, there was an instructor that did this. Um, uh, actually, there was a few, in, uh, yeah, a few instructors that did something similar to this. But of course, like how can you compete with that, right? Like how can, can like your average person compete with that if you're giving away stuff, right? And, you know, anyway, okay, so, uh, major violations. Now, this is also key here. Uh, purchased reviews. Um, now, this happens everywhere. It happens at Amazon. It, ha it happens everywhere. And, you know, they obviously have to take a hard, hard line of this here. Now, it's obvious you would never want to get caught uh, doing this because you could get kicked off the platform. Uh, incentivized reviews, offering courses for free. Um, you know, it, and the, the, the whole point of the review system like the review system is supposed to give Udemy data and it's supposed to give the student data as to um, what courses they should take, right? Um, so obviously the higher review, like you're gonna make more money, 
right? But your product has to be good as well. Now, the thing is, is like on Amazon specifically, you know, if, you're, if your product is something very basic um, and you buy a bunch of reviews, you're going to get a lot more sales, right? Because if your product is super basic, you know, the, the people are going to be happy with it one way or another, right? And so for the most part, uh, what happens is, um, is, is that like, if you can do that, you obviously make more money. And so, but on Udemy, it's the same thing. But more importantly, the review system, the reviews really rank you up in the search algorithm. It does this more than sales or anything else. Uh, the only thing I guess, I, I don't know the exact specifics, but in, the more engagement you have, the, the higher the, your, uh, your search ranking will be. It's really engagement in reviews. And I did a whole video about this. It should be more or less like sales and reviews. But nevertheless, reviews are important and they need to be transparent, all right? Um, now, reviews are generated uh, by bots, scripts, or other inorganic means. Now, obviously, if you're you know purchasing reviews or you make a bot, uh, and you know this used to be a real problem on Udemy um, years ago, but they've since then fixed it, which is obviously good. Now, obviously, there's you can't like th these things are are very very logical. Like you have to have these in place. Now, whether or not they police all this stuff immediately so like it's possible that you could get away with this for a while and then you get caught uh but really the way that udemy works and their search algorithm works is that it's very difficult if not impossible to crack the top courses um without some kind of you know boost from from udemy in some way shape or form so because of that uh you know these aren't going to be that big of an issue okay um, and then when the instructor is clearly going against the spirit of Udemy policy in an attempt to game the system. So what this does is that in the first days of Udemy, like nobody knew what they were doing. Like, you know, I, I would put out courses and just, you know, like nobody knew what a good course was and nobody knew what this platform would be. And then someone would try to find like, here's the rules and like, oh, there's this way that if I just do it in this one simple way, then I can, can gain an advantage. So they put this in there to basically say, okay, look, we, we have the whole point of Udemy is to just simply give good courses to students. And if you're trying to do something outside of that spirit, then, well, you know, you, you shouldn't do that. So it, it's, it's a little more broad. And what this basically does is gives them the complete power to do whatever they want. And that's, you know, and to be fair on this, it's, it's probably a good idea here, okay? So the one of the one of the most interesting things that I've heard over the years, um, and is that there was a particular instructor that was making an, a, like one of the top instructors on Udemy, and this was years and years ago. Uh, one of the top instructors uh, basically made a new version of their top course. Okay, and I I was sent a screenshot by somebody uh, that before this course was even launched, it had like two hundred and fifty five star reviews. And, you know, and the ramifications of that are kind of interesting because if this particular instructor could get just 250, like five stars before the course was even launched, I mean, that would not be good. Now, what happened there? Well, I think what happened was someone like in order to move the course A to course B, so they moved the the whole the like the database just kind of moved everything over, including the reviews. So I don't think Udemy like purposely put up their top, one of their top selling courses and just automatically put 255 star reviews. That's definitely not what happened. I think it was just you know they just moved everything over before it was public, and um, and then the reviews were moved over because when you copy like like when you copy database stuff from one thing to another. Um, you know, it, it can be tricky to leave out information sometimes. Um, and I, I honestly think this was happening. Like 100%, it wasn't anything nefarious. It wasn't Udemy being, oh no, we, this is our top course and we're going to give it 250 stars right out of the gate, like five stars right out of the gate so that, you know, it's going to look like it's a better um uh, it's a better course than, than, you know, it is. And like, meanwhile, like if I were to do a course, like I'd start off with zero reviews and, you know, it would give that particular person a huge advantage. But again, I don't think that's what it was. Now, of course, I, I saw this, you know, a, a bit later once the course was actually launched and it had more, more reviews. 
Um, you know, and obviously the course was good, the instructor was good, uh, but at the same time, you know, that was that was probably one of the most interesting things I've seen uh, with the review system. And again, I don't think it's anything more than just database being copied over. Um, because if Udemy actually did that, right? If they actually gave the top course fake reviews, that would not be good. And there's no way that I don't think the people at Udemy would would do that. I think that would be like ex like if if they were really called out on that, I think that would completely tarnish everything on this page. So again, I think it was just 100%. It was nothing to do uh, with propping up the top course so it looked better. It was just something like a simple database copying. And the course wasn't even launched, right? Uh, before, when a course wasn't launched, there was like a, like you could actually kind of see it on, um, like you could actually see it and there wasn't any kind of preview. Um, uh, well, the, basically you could kind of see it, and but you couldn't buy it, right? I don't think you can do that now. Um, but nevertheless, that's how this person sent this this screenshot to me. And again, I don't think it's anything anything bad uh, from Udemy's point of view. I just think um, I just think it was some kind of database error, or whatever, uh, just moving things over. But nevertheless, uh, that was probably one of the most interesting things I've seen over the years. And you know, like some people think that Udemy gives fake reviews to the top instructors. And I don't think that's the case. Um, I just don't think that's the case. Um, they they wouldn't do that. Like if if they did do that, again, like their whole trust, tr the trust, like this is, this is what this is supposed to be, trust and safety. The trust of Udemy wouldn't be good, which segues it to the next, um, to the next point is decentralization. So uh, one of the things that Udemy could do to, regain complete trust is to decentralize the review uh, system. And this would be a, a huge monumental um, thing to do. Uh, because, you know, if if it was, if they could somehow get, because all the reviews go to, to the central location of Udemy, but if reviews were decentralized um, and, you know, people could see where the reviews were coming from and, you know, the, the legitimacy of them, like all this stuff would still apply. It's just that, you know, the top courses, um, you know, there would be absolutely zero, uh, you know, there would be zero meddling, right? It would be very, very secure and trusted. And that's the way the web is going. And I think that, you know, there's probably, again, someone wanting to make a competitor to you to me that would have a decentralized um, review system and review process. So I think that is something they should really consider uh, because then, again, the trust of the platform would be good. And so, and again, the trust of Udemy's platform is pretty good. They've actually done a really good job with managing reviews. And I don't think there's any chicanery or, you know, conspiracy theories that Udemy has like, you know, faked a bunch of reviews for their top instructors just so that that they, you know, could, could promote their platform. I don't think that's the case um, at all. So, you know, and if they did do that, I mean, it wouldn't be good if they did that, but I don't think they did. Like pretty much, I don't think they did. So, you know, the review system, again, is pretty good. Uh, they should consider a decentralized review system. Uh, that way um, it would just be a little bit more objective. Um, and eventually you will see a decentralized um, review system on another site. You might even see a, a decentralized Udemy competitor that's, again, completely decentralized. Um, and Udemy isn't really set up for that kind of decentralization. And well, I mean, a lot of the companies that have been made in the last, well, basically the web 2.0 companies are not set up for that. And so that, so that's, that's a topic way beyond like the scope of Udemy and its IPO. Uh, but you know, if I were setting up a company, I would definitely have like a decentralized review system um, today, like absolutely. And you know, a lot of the, like there, are, I don't think there is a service that you can buy on a blockchain that does this, but you know, with all of, of um, with all of the stuff, uh, the development going into blockchain, you could, you'll definitely see something like this. You'll be able to just kind of sign up for a service on either Ethereum or Cardano. And you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to just buy these reviews or buy like a review system that's completely decentralized and you'll be a bunch of features, um, you know, 
and how that will work is is kind of up in the air but you know you'll, you'll basically say it's like hey look i got a platform okay i need to purchase this blockchain review system that's decentralized and that way all the students and all the instructors know what is going on right you know is it you know who who is uh who is the best instructor from the review point of view and um and who uh you know who is that and we we know from this decentralized and if people are you know if people are abusing it like you know this this particular uh this particular section here i mean that it doesn't change in a decentralized way you can see that you know if someone purchased reviews you know they would come in in a specific way uh or you know bots and scripts like all of this stuff would be you know would be still there and you know the thing about blockchain is um and decentralization is that it is coming um you know i look at the crypto stuff every day uh so it, it's going to be really good so in conclusion uh udemy's review system is actually pretty good it's changed over the years and you know the times of them just kind of promoting like you know having instructors with different rules that's over but it was a thing at the beginning of the platform where someone could literally you know give away their software or service for for reviews and you know that was a little bit unfair but that was so many years ago it's not even a thing anymore so uh they obviously can't do that now specifically with the ipo because that would not be good uh, even though any platform has favorites i get that um but you know basically everyone needs to be on a level playing field and um and that's kind of the whole point right you know it, anyone can come in make a course and get to the top if their course is good enough and if their marketing is good enough etc right so review system really good on udemy they've done a really good job um the only thing that i see as a issue is the decentralization of reviews uh where people can go and see exactly what's going on and that and if they could do that effectively then the trust will go up right because that's the whole point right like when you build a product you honest you really want well obviously you want the best reviews but if you're if you're getting reviews that are like 2.5 and below well you need to change something and but here's the thing about udemy so i've released a ton of courses on udemy and you know we used a ton of bundles which is a whole different topic but like sometimes the top like we could release a bundle like three different bundles that are mostly the same and then two of them will get like three star reviews mostly and then one of them will get 4.5 stars so like there is a little bit of subjectivity to the reviews like basically if your first review on a system or any product isn't very good then it you're it, it gets harder after that point so you really need like a lot of reviews outside of like right out of the gate or else it's really difficult and that's why people do this right like that's why people buy the reviews it's like well if i if i buy like 50 reviews then you know people are going to like it more because it, it just you know it, it's just the way it is so so anyway yeah all right so again they've done a really good job with the review system in my opinion right so and i don't think there's any kind of conspiracy or chicanery happening behind the scenes at udemy i think it's just it's a fairly good system and uh if you do hear about that um you can always post that in the comments i'll be interested to know uh if you've if you've seen anything like that but for the most part again i think the reviews are pretty solid on udemy i think they're pretty fair um it would be great if it was decentralized but i don't think that's going to happen anytime soon just because i don't think technology wise we're there but at some point in time it will happen all right so uh that concludes this video uh, if you're an investor, I have a con I have a contact information down below, and you can contact me, and we can do a consultation. And if you really like this channel, uh, you can buy our digital products down below because we do not do a Patreon. All right, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.